All right, so apparently we have some more top 10 lists to do because Bayless decided to uh, make one. And we're going to keep the hate train rolling. Chugga so, chugga choo choo. Uh, Wow, that was really gay. But <laughs> <laughs> whatever, God, go ahead, Bailiff. At uh, coming in at number ten, we have Conquer Live and Reloaded on the original Xbox. Mm. I have no fucking clue what that game is. <laughs> really, that game that game was basically just like a joke of every other game. It was hilarious, and it had well, not a joke of every other game, but it had references. It had like a Matrix reference at the end, and it was it was a really fun game. I played as a squirrel. Bad for a day, it was better. Conquer Shut up. <laughs> and then <laughs> I don't know what the second. I know what Conquer Death Birthday is, but I didn't hating know at that. number ten. Hating at number nine or ten. Number nine. Coming in at a uh, Madden 15 on the PS4. Is a. Uh, I've only played two Madden, so it's kind of hard to put a Madden in there. But yeah, somebody's Madden 15 is so far, balls. so far the best. Man, even that, that I want to exactly the reason. <laughs> he likes to play. Even I want to put a gun to my head for that one. But I'm just gonna go ahead and let you go with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, we got Hitman Blood Money. I spent the most time on this Hitman, and to me, it was it and Contracts were by far the best Hitmans. Man, I never really played the Hitman series, so I don't have much to say about this. <laughs> They're yeah, pretty, pretty decent graphics. For for when it came out, yeah, it was on the PS3. I know the last yeah, I know one. Like, yeah. The last one was hit or miss on whether people actually liked it or not. I, uh, I, I know you like played it. it. <laughs> I played it. I beat it. You didn't platinum uh, it, though. I did not platinum it. Platinum. platinum. It's I have 12 platinums. I think you can excuse me on one. Oh, I'm sorry. You haven't platinum <laughs> since I gave you the name platinum once. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Too much pressure. I can't handle it. Coming from Number Chris, he's never got close to platinum again. <laughs> I don't fucking care, that's why. Just get The Walking Dead Season 1. Yeah, you just have to just beat, beat it and you get a platinum. <laughs> Free platinum. Okay, number 7. Number Spyro 7 is... No. <laughs> no. Everybody got I never it. actually played Spyro. But, uh... Oh, oh, you. You should not have I, said I, that out loud. But I've, <laughs> I've, I've had the opportunity to play it, and I've seen other people play it. And, like, it's been in front of me where I can play it, but I never, never really... Every day. You have no Skyland. soul, Bailiff. You have no soul. <laughs> I have no soul. Skylanders. I I have not played Skylanders. Why would I play Skylanders? My little brother plays Skylanders. Let's All right. So we keep interrupting. Him. Number seven. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops One, specifically the zombies. And the story was really good too. But I spent so much time on the zombies. I red alert! Like red alert! Hours. We have our first Call of Duty sighting on a top ten list. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Number six is probably going to start a debate then, because I got Halo 3 above Call of Duty. Whoa. I'm okay with this, but why am I the only person who justifies Halo 2 as being better than Halo 3? <laughs> I admit the Halo 2 storyline I liked a lot better, but Halo 3 <laughs> overall was just... It was I, I know why Halo 3 is so popular, but Halo 2 just... Halo 2 was better. Halo 2 redefined some shit. Halo yeah, really kind of did. The dual wielding. <laughs> that was awesome. awesome. That was amazing. Number uh, number five, we got Bioshock. Number one, the original. Really? Mm -hmm. Out of all the Bioshock games, you're going with the first one? I never beat Infinite, and number two, they just they just introduced too much stuff. Number one was kind of scary, and it, it, it kept its scary roots at number one. Like, I mean, I, I have all three of them roots. on PC for a great price of $10, so... <laughs> I'll beat him eventually. Ooh, you're gonna perm out? Oh, yeah. I'll beat him eventually. Fuck some shit? Did you get paid eventually. for that advertisement? <laughs> <laughs> for a low price of $10 like three weeks ago, you could have got all three Bioshock games. <laughs> Exclusively on Steam. <laughs> like three weeks ago. So go ahead, build a time machine, you can go do that. Yeah. Uh, number four, we got GTA San Andreas. That I approve was by of this. far my favorite. Yet that again, was... I approve. Not even of not even of the honorable mentions did a GTA game make an honorable mention. <laughs> so this is even more new ground than the Call of Duty placement Whoa. was. I almost that... put GTA five in my honorable mentions, but I didn't. Was it wasn't a GTA San Andreas the biggest GTA? I know that map was huge for when it came out. 
Well, it had it three was. different cities on it. And yeah, a, it was and an ridiculous. Open, and an open country area. So. And a driving school. That was fun. And its soundtrack was the best. Oh, fucking... I love the classic rock station on San Andreas. The game itself was just... Per- and the jetpack. I spent so much time on that jetpack. And the cheat codes. Oh, the last game to originally have a, to have original cheat codes. That game... And the like, they fucked up GTA cheat codes with GTA 4. Like, I didn't like the cheats in GTA 4. No, they weren't. I didn't, even, I didn't even know there were cheats in GTA 4. That's oh, yeah, how the bad phone. they were. Like, oh, the I, can, I can spawn a car. Okay. Yeah, yeah and, they're like, and they're like <laughs> shitty cars that you can just find on the street. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, that's so much fun. All right. But San Andreas, the best Driving part. around in the hearse. I love the customization of San Andreas. I used to customize a fucking uh, limousine. I'd have a pink limo with like lowrider effects on it. <laughs> yep. I remember all the. I remember all the time. I'd always rock the bandana on my character, no matter what. <laughs> well, and you're just a, you're a chicks. wannabe hater. <laughs> hater. And, now, and then the building that you that you just walk in and teleport to the top. He just it has a parachute up there. You can jump that down. The, I used to spawn a bike up there. <laughs> I just drive the bike off the building. <laughs> all right. It's number. Made the title. Did. A GTA made the title. <laughs> it made the title. <laughs> a GTA made the list. There you go. <laughs> number at number four, nonetheless. But at number three, we got the uh, super famous Last of Us for both campaign and its multiplayer, which I went back to a little bit ago, and it was still pretty fun. Kind of sucked. Actually, but... I, I actually once again want to put this in the sketch's mind. But Ellie doesn't die in the Last of Us. Yeah, I don't know you why. Idiot. He thought Ellie died. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even insinuate Ellie died. Like, That's fucked. It had a, it had a positive ending. Like, that was a good game all around. I don't know where we got the idea that he, she died at the end. We all died at the end. <laughs> Might as well have. Apparently, according to the sketch, anybody could have died at the end of that game. <laughs> <laughs> Bill died, I'm sure. Oh yeah, that dude. <laughs> At number two, I'm sure if Sketch was in the call, he would be okay with, but, you know, he's kind of mad at me, so I'm sure he's going to find a problem with it anyway, is Skyrim. Boo. I, I spent boo. a lot of time. Boo. You're booing that, you're going to boo number one. <laughs> that game never fucking ends. I think uh, exactly. I, I, I'm pretty sure I already know what number one is, but boo. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a Dragon Age, but way more fun. Dragon Age annoyed me. I think the top game is for Asians. No, it's fucking. Sick. I don't know where that came from, but right. what? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> and then my honorable mentions are Borderlands 2, Battlefield 3, Half Life 2, Star Wars Battlefront 2. I, I seem to like. It's really sad. Two. Before you say your fifth one, really quick, I thought it really sad that almost all of us like Battlefront 2 enough to put it on the honorable mentions, but not in the top 10. <laughs> Top 10 list. Well, I didn't even play Battlefront 2 online. Like, I just played it against computers, and I had so much fun with that game. I played the campaign so many times, it's not even funny. I don't even know. Yeah. I, I just like the uh, the little galactic map where you galactic can move conquest. your ships around. That was so much fun. It was I really great. hope the new one is a lot like that. If they have yes. that, then I'll, I'll never put it down. Well, this is... Well, Battlefront's the one game that Chris over here actually talks about, and he's actually hyped for. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, Battlefront. Between that and Kingdom Hearts 3. Yep. Wow. Maybe you'd be hyped for Halo 5, but you don't have an Xbox. So. <laughs> I'm kinda, trying to get her to buy one, okay? Kind of stops the hype train. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> I don't know if you won't do it. She's being a hater. And everybody's got some haters or hater aid going around. Xbox hater aid. Another uh, honorable mention. We're getting the last topic. honorable mention <laughs> is Minecraft. Just from the sheer amount of time I have into it. Uh, yeah, fuck you, but alright. Boo! Yeah, boo. <laughs> why you gotta hate? I'm it's my, fucking uh, Minecraft. That's why I gotta hate. Everyone you should, plays you Minecraft. Put, you should have put Terraria above Minecraft. I don't like Terraria. It's 2D. It's crap. <laughs> it's the original Minecraft. <laughs> that's true. If you look at it like that, that's true. But no, 2D just doesn't work for me. You don't like 2Ds? I, no. Double Ds, man. I don't like 3D for that matter. You definitely oh. love 3Ds at once. No. 3D, three... <laughs> <laughs> I laughed a little bit too hard at that joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little hurt, Slayer. 
And at uh, the overall number one top game, my favorite game of all time is Pong. Leisure Larry. I actually played that game, actually. <laughs> Leisure Larry? Yeah, Leisure Suit Larry. Was it good? I don't. I I was like six when I played it. I don't know. It had <laughs> Funny that Chris just throws That's out it. fucking a game. <laughs> it was like, like I, I don't know. It was like it was like a bunch of like nudity, but like censored nudity. And you were like this like stud who would just walk, or you were like this really midget guy. You'd You're walk supposed around. You're to bang all these chicks. Yeah, you bang all the chicks. Yeah, and you have like in the dialogue, it's like a mini game, and you control a little sperm, and he's like flying through, and you gotta you gotta get you gotta hit the green. Uh, the green things and the conversation goes How well. How fucked up is your mom that she bought you this game? Actually, she bought my dad that game, and then she let me play it as a joke, and then I loved it. And I wow, it. this just took so a whole good, big turn for the worst. I don't care what your number one game is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta readjust my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just ba Bayless playing a little pieces of sperm in his hand, you know. <laughs> well, we know he does that on a regular basis, but yeah, it's not true. It's not true, but yeah. Overall, I, I would I would actually recommend I might put that back in my top ten. Screw a, screw a conquer. It's going <laughs> putting Leisure Suit Larry. <laughs> but my my actual number one is the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Fucking knew it. I played, the moment I played, you said the moment you said you're gonna you booed Skyrim, you're gonna boo my number one. I fucking knew it was Oblivion. I put over 300 hours into that game. I bought it like four different times. I have it on you, the computer. You I, paid for it four times. Yeah, I, I love that game. Okay. Are you retarded? No, no, no. Cause buying the game four times is fine. Sketch traded in his Xbox One for a PS3 in Skyrim. <laughs> Which is, I mean, oh. I, I, if, I had, if, I, if I had an Xbox One, I wouldn't trade it in to get a PS3. I'd keep it and get Halo 5. Okay, so before we get off topic again, um, <laughs> thank you for joining uh, Bayless Top 10 list. Uh, Elder Scrolls sucks. but <laughs> Top 2? Elder Scrolls is amazing. Eat it. <laughs> yes, eat it. And then beat it. But, yeah, again, thanks. Peace. Bye. <laughs>